Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Look at these animals and these plants. We already know that one of the vital functions is relationship. Today, we're going to learn how living things interact with each other. Today, we're going to learn the most important relationships between living things in an ecosystem. But first of all, do you remember what an ecosystem is? An ecosystem is a set formed by a physical environment and all the living beings that inhabit it. For example, this garden, where there is light and soil and where plants, flowers, butterflies and earthworms live. Well, the place and all the living beings that live in it form an ecosystem. These living beings meet and connect in order to survive. In other words, they interact with each other and they do this in many ways. It all depends on whether they belong to the same species or to different species. Individuals of the same species can relate to each other by forming families. Like this family of monkeys that always stick together to look for food or to take care of their young. Monkeys are so cute, aren't they? <laughs> Individuals of the same species also form gregarious associations. They are larger groups than families and, although they are not coupled together, they live together for a period of time to reproduce, to help each other or to travel. Just like these birds that have come together to migrate to a warmer place. Or this shoal of fish that moves in a coordinated way to look like a single huge fish, thus confusing their predators. How clever! Another way in which animals of the same species relate to each other is through state associations. Just like these ants that divide up the work. Some are scouts, others bring food, and others are workers. Ants are super organized, aren't they? Individuals of different species also relate to each other. There are three different ways. Predation, competition, and symbiosis. Predation is when one living thing hunts another living thing to eat it. Like these lions hunting these wildebeests. Competition exists when two different species compete with each other to get something. Just like these vultures or this hyena fighting over the carcasses of other animals they find. And symbiosis is the way in which individuals of different species relate to each other and benefit from that relationship. There are three types of symbiosis. Mutualism, commensalism and parasitism. Mutualism. In this type of relationship, both species benefit like these birds and these hippos. The birds feed on the insects they find on the skin of the hippos and the hippos get rid of the annoying insects that bite them. Commensalism. In this relationship, one species benefits and the other is not affected for better or worse. 
just like these remora fish that always travel close to the sharks so that other animals don't attack them. They benefit and the shark doesn't care, neither good nor bad. Parasitism In this kind of symbiosis, one species benefits and the other suffers. Like lice and humans. The lice benefit because they feed on our blood and we are harmed because our heads get so itchy. How interesting! Aren't the relationships between living beings in ecosystems just so interesting? But the most important thing is to care for and respect everything that surrounds us to look after our ecosystem. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.